Tavros, enter. Having narrowly dodged obliteration, you take your place as the Page of Breath in the Land of Sand and Zephyr. And in time. Tavros! Go outside and look at what I built for you! You are going to flip! Uh, okay. I think this is probably meant to antagonize me. What are you talking about? Look at my beautiful building! Don't you think it's about time someone got a little creative with this game? Um, maybe? Everyone always wants to do things the boring way. Didn't we make a truce, Tavros? That we would try to be less boring from now on? You don't want to break your truce with me, do you, Tavros? No. Great! Now get climbing! Please don't read this as a boring thing, I hope, but it's physically impossible to do that, mostly. Man, I knew it. Toria Snooze is back in action. Why don't you, in like a not boring way, build four inclined surfaces like you did over there? Maybe you could color them with fun colors so you won't think they're boring and get angry at me some more. I built that ramp because we were in a hurry to save your life, remember? A dead Tavros is even more boring than an alive and crippled Tavros, by a slim margin. My stair structure is lovely, and I'm not changing it. Now hop out of your wheel device and get climbing! Uh, climbing? Or crawling, whatever. Stop being so helpless, it's pathetic. It will take a long time. What's the rush? You're in the game, safe and sound. Look in the sky. Do you see any meteors? I sure don't. But they're imps around and I'll be sort of defenseless lying down on stairs. <sighs> you did not just use that excuse. We both know you can commune with these things. Hey, why don't you psychically command them to carry you up? Oh my god, that is a great idea. Once again, leave it to Vriska to come up with the creative solutions. I wouldn't really want to make them do that. I just don't understand why we can't do this the easy way. What good would that do you? Whatever the purpose of this game is, it makes you work hard for it. That way, you become stronger along the way and you're better prepared for whatever's next. Remember when we used to flark together? It was the exact same principle. And that's why you were always outmatched. You were too soft and not well prepared. Nothing comes easy, Tavros. That is why we go through the trials in the brooding caverns when we are young, to make sure we are strong when we come out. Do you remember the trials, Tavros? Uh, not very well, no. Well, I do, and they were a bitch. But now that I think about it, it would make perfect sense if your trials were really easy by some mistake. That is why you are such a soggy phlegm sponge, and why you got picked by such a sad, frail little Lucis. Oh. But that's okay, it probably wasn't your fault. Just a bad break. You're lucky you have me as a server player, so I can challenge you and help you get strong. Now hop out of that seat and get climbing. I will deliver the device to you once you are at the top. Climb, pupa, climb! Maybe I should ask Tinkerbell about this. He's really smart now that he can talk. No! You don't need help from your lame bull fairy. He is only holding you back. He's my friend. God, pathetic. This is getting frustrating. Why did I have to get stuck with the cripple? Just my luck. Do you have any idea how inconvenient this is? Do you have any sympathy for what I'm dealing with here? Uh... You're so inconsiderate. You just sit there looking smug. It's infuriating to look at you. You haven't even thanked me, or apologized for that matter. Uh, thanks, Friska, for saving, uh, my life. Um, it sure was brave and heroic and pretty of you. Also, um, duh, um, I am sorry from the bottom of my neck. Seriously, how hard would that have been? Okay, thanks, I guess, but sorry for what? For being crippled, you ass! You want me to apologize for being paralyzed. Yes, say you're sorry. I don't mean to be rude or boring, but that's ridiculous given uh, the circumstances. Bullshit! It's something called basic decency and civility, you fudge-blooded boor! Now get down on your useless wobbly knees and apologize! No, I don't want to. Uh, Apologize! Uh, 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 
apologize, Koopa! Apologize! Say you're sorry for being a cripple! Whee! <laughs> Tavros, summon Rufio. Now she's done it. She has awoken the mighty inner fury that is... Rufio! Ah. But unfortunately, Rufio is not real. He's imaginary. A fake. Like a made-up friend, the way fairies are. You continue to be sad and alone. Kanaya, mediate. Hey, what's your deal? Shouldn't you be helping me out of this jam instead of fussing with my plumbing? Just presenting a floating reminder that Tavros will need plenty of inclined surfaces for his ascent. That's silly. I made so many ramps, you wouldn't even believe it. I specifically decided I wanted to build something ugly and boring. It is now the land of ramps and yawns. He's reported otherwise. That lousy snitch! Maybe I should take his computer away so he can't go crying to fussy fangs anymore. Maybe I should append this load gaper over your head. No, don't! I'm still learning the interface. It could happen accidentally at any moment. I'm only trying to help him. Think of another way to help. Fine, I'll do something nice. I have an idea. I will be right back. And for the record, I was going to do this anyway. I was just trying to make him a better player first. Okay. In the meantime, how about I serve my client player the way I think is best, and you can do the same for yours? Hmm. I thought I was. Briska, scurry downstairs. You make your way down to one of your innumerable loot strongholds where you stash riches in gold and jewels and prizes plundered during your campaigns. There they are, your rocket boots. You must confess you will find favor with just about any kind of footwear so long as it is bright red. You would wear these striking boots even if they were broken pieces of junk. But as it happens, they work just fine and they are awesome. Friska, take them. Briska, go back up. Quit cleaning up after me! You are so ridiculous. Briska, get code. Briska, send code. Shoes. Tavros, alchemize. Fly, pupa! Fly! <laughs> Whee! And again in time. Tavros, lead fearsome entourage into ruins. Camion. Tavros, confer with teammate. Yes, another piece fits. We are making some strict progress on this puzzle. Oh, that's cool, I guess. So where do you think is the next one? Um, I don't know. Probably buried in the stupid sand somewhere like all the others. Okay, that's mostly what I was thinking too, but it suddenly doesn't sound like you think the puzzle is cool. The puzzle sucks! All these puzzles suck! If I have to help you put one more dumb slab of boring rock into another stupid wall indentation, I'm going to put an indentation in my desk with my face. But it, uh, it looks like a frog, and that's kind of fun. Snore! These puzzles are for wigglers! I solved way better puzzles than this in my heyday as Mindfang. Oh look, some ruins! Oh look, another mysterious recess in the wall! I wonder if something fits in there! It probably just opens a secret passage to more wall indentations. I am so over this puzzle! Uh, but they are necessary to solve, aren't they? To find new magic artifacts and things, and learn more about the lore of this land? Tavros! Let me let you in on a little secret about the lore of your land. It's boring! <laughs> the minds of your consorts are very soft and impressionable, as easily manipulated as all those imps you've been bossing around. I have picked apart their tiny little lizard brains and seen through all the smoke and mirrors of their riddles. 
I have gotten to the truth they are guarding. The great big mystery behind this planet. And you know what it is, Tavros? Uh, no. It's bullshit. Meaningless, boring, fanciful bullshit wrapped in flowery poems to keep you guessing. It all leads to one thing anyway, and that's what we should put our attention on. Real gamers cut to the chase. They power through all the nonsense and go for the gold. They cheat, Tavros. It is time you learn to start cheating. I thought I kind of was cheating by making friends with monsters. Well, it's a good start. You are bending the rules and getting stuff done. Okay, I will admit I am fairly impressed with your progress so far. Even though you still probably haven't even killed a single enemy. Um... <laughs> no, don't bother. I know you haven't. But maybe that's okay. Maybe it's just your style and your real strength is surrounding yourself with allies who are much stronger than you. Like me! I'm sure there's more than one way up the Esha ladder. In your case, probably the only way is to roll gently up the Esha ramp. The path of the invalid. Yeah, I, I agree. But I think it's time to stop fucking around. You need to be challenged more. I have been designing a quest for you that should test your true limits. Oh, is that what you were doing all this time? Yes. I mean, not that I don't appreciate it, but don't you have your own quest to do? Yeah, well, after she got me in the game, Kanaya just left me in the lurch, probably because she's dealing with her own crisis now, which is just as well, because I was starting to get nannied hard. You wouldn't even believe it. Nannied? So I had some time to kill. I drew you a map. Whoa. Oh. Here, take a look. It marks what will be your new destination where you will find the ultimate challenge. Tavros, look at map. Where does it go? I have determined from your consorts that there is a terrible monster deep underground. It guards a hoard of treasure bigger than either of us can imagine. It is called a denizen, and it is the boss of your whole planet. Tavros, you will go and face your denizen. Won't that be too difficult? It will be the most powerful adversary you have ever met. But you can handle it. I believe in you! Um, thanks? I mean, I respect that you have lots of piratey bravado about stuff and you type fast about it, but I think this is foolish and not sensible. I'll probably just get killed, realistically. Maybe. That is the risk you take by being a brave adventurer. But it is a good opportunity to apply your cunning. Maybe you can rally a huge army to bend to your will and overwhelm the monster. Who knows? It is up to you. This is it, Tavros. It is time to sink or swim. I should get Kanaya's advice. Or maybe Karkat, since he is a leader. No! Oh, God, every time! Always going and getting others to bail you out! Anyway, Kanaya is missing in action, and Karkat has his head up his nook with his new stabby hate friend. Neither can help you. It's just hard to figure out if you really think this is a good idea strategically or if it's just more of the thing where you harass me but sound excited about it. Tavros, I know nobody believes me about this, probably not even a gullible dope like you, but I actually care about your advancement as a player. Everything I have done has been to make you stronger. Okay, I still don't know what to believe about that. Ugh! You are useless. I'm done talking about this. Now shut up and point that cherry vehicle of yours toward the X on that map. Next stop, gate seven. Let's go. Uh... This isn't optional. You know very well that I can make you go to that gate, whether you want to or not. But I would rather it not have to come to that. What will it be? Advance or advance? Okay, I will go. Oh, one last thing. Equip your boy Skylark outfit. This will be Pupa's last stand. I mean, sit. <laughs> Davros, point Cherry Vehicle toward X on that. You proceed through what seems to be our second gate into the land of maps and treasure. The Thief of Light lies in wait. Vriska, wake up. Oh my! It appears Pupa Pan himself has flown through my window while I was asleep. How exciting! Surely he is here to take me away on the adventure of a lifetime. He is more dreamy and heroic than I ever imagined. 
But what's this? It seems the legendary boy Skylark has misplaced his shadow. He is looking everywhere for it, to no avail. He is having a devil of a time, what with being paralyzed from the waist down and all. He clearly needs my help. Riska, help Pupa find Shadow. Pupa! You truly are a silly goose. Your shadow has been trapped underneath your useless torso the whole time. Honestly, where else would it be, you stupid sack of shit? Of course, the secret to reuniting with your shadow is to get up and walk around, and play and dance and frolic. Your shadow will surely join in your gaiety. But it appears Pupa has lost the use of his legs. There will be no frolicking in this young man's future. Unless... Riska, apply special stardust. <laughs> Everyone knows that just a pinch of special stardust, along with a happy thought, will allow any boy to get up and walk again. Everyone knows this because it is in the classic tale Pupa Pan. Young Pupa flies through the window of a fairy girl's respite block, falls on the floor, and has trouble getting up like an enormous pansy. The fairy girl then helps him walk again, and in return, he teaches her to fly, even though she probably already knows how to fly, because she's a fairy. They fly out of her window together, and have magical adventures for many sweeps thereafter. To be honest, you hardly know a damn thing about Pupa Pan, but you do not care. Pupa remains as pathetic and useless as ever. The Stardust did nothing, probably because it is just glittery powder with no magical properties whatsoever and is basically bullshit. Because in case it wasn't clear, magic isn't real and neither are miracles. Or... It could just be that Pupa has failed to have a happy thought. My duty is clear. I will have to make him have happy thoughts. Riska, make Pupa have happy thoughts. Manipulate. <laughs> 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 